Trevor's fucking big, I don't know where United is shit. Okay, good morning guys, we're here. I gotta bring all this shit down. It's gonna take a while. All right, I gotta bring all this down. Apartment, I'll see you in a week. I love you, thank you. Listo, grazie. And we're back at the airport. I'm going back to LA. Let me get my shit back. And we're back at the airport. Grazie. Ciao, ciao, grazie. Okay, going back to LA today. We're flying through Amsterdam and London. We fly from uh, Rome to Amsterdam, then Amsterdam to London, London, LA. So we got a long fucking day ahead of us. Alrighty, KLM gets a thumbs down for that one. They're making me check in my carry on bag because. It's too big, where we're flying a 737, 800 and a 737, 700. And that can store this easily in the in the bag. So I don't know what the fuck this big oh. Oh, Still dark outside and it's fucking empty in here. It's only 5.37 in the morning. About roughly three, no, 33 minutes. I'm gonna head over to a place, get a latte. That's a, what is that, the... Thank you so much. I Have hope a good one. Nice, uh, I did. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, it's cold. Yeah. <laughs> it's cold here. Have a good one, you guys. Safe journeys home. You too. Okay. So we're in Amsterdam. I gotta catch my next flight to London. I gotta recheck my bag in London. So I'm excited. It's fucking freezing. Here. It's so nice being in Amsterdam. Everything's proficient, unlike Rome. Alrighty, my plane boards in about 20 minutes. It departs in an hour. So, we gotta make a hike though. I'm at D2 and I'm at D fucking 22. So I got 20 gates to walk. And I'm caught a cold. I'm not feeling too hot right now. And I have to use the bathroom. Yeah, my stomach hurts. Not a good situation. Update. Got the bags, we're good. Got all three bags. Just took the saran wrap off of it. This, they fucking manhandled the poor duffel bag. But it's okay, because that silicone wrap was clutch. I gotta throw it away now. I don't know where though. So by my luck, um, the ticket to Terminal 2 is free. And I just have to go one stop to get to Terminal 2, so thank God. Certainly miss 
missing this flight. This connection's too fucking long. We finally made it to the Queen's Terminal. Let's see if I'm late. Or too late, shall I say. This terminal's fucking big. I don't know where United is shit. That's pretty good. So, awesome. um, you go through the departure security fast track is to the right. Wonderful thing. All right, we made it through security. We're running on time. We're not gonna miss the trip. Um, one thing to note, the lady at the check-in at uh, United, she like, She made me delete all my videos I shot, uh, like, at the fucking check-in. I like, like, how many people have been yanking my toes today between the lady at KLM and this? I just fucking had it. So I was like, like, have you ever seen a vlogger before? Like, I was just pounding her with questions. I was fucking pissed at her. Anyways, we gotta catch the flight. <laughs> to me like they already skipped Halloween and uh, went to Christmas. But I just realized uh, Halloween is today. Today is Halloween, of course, out of all days. I'm traveling on Halloween. Oh dear God, what the flying fuck is that? So we're at 40, gate B48A today with our United 7100. Now I just need to find out where this lounge is and if there isn't one. Well, there is a lounge and I have access to it, but where's the lounge? I have no fucking clue. Yes, I'm talking. <laughs> What the fuck? Okay, we're on board, finally. I get to take a fat nap. How's it going? Yeah, I'm fucking exhausted. Been up since three. How's it going? Hello, where are you going? Three, three L, I believe the one Shit in this fucking seat. God damn. A lot of goodies. Look at this. Remedy kit. Saks Fifth Avenue. Polaris down comforted pillow. We'll put that there. We'll put that there too. Just... Another pillow. Jeez. So many goddamn pillows and stuff. Alright, finally I get to sit down. Okay. Oh, well. I'm very excited today. It's my first time ever flying United International Polaris Business Class. I normally fly with Tanza, Swiss, Austria, and other airlines. Today I'm trying United. <clears throat> Thanks to Aeroplan finally allowing me to get on this flight. And why not try it today? So I'm very excited to have this review for you guys. I got a lot of support. In terms of the amenities, aside from all the things from a TV, some type of power plug, and a little storage area where I put all my junk, a little storage area under here, and an ottoman down here for your feet when it goes into a bed, and more space down there. There's a tray table here. There is a... There. You got one of these old guys. And then you got some magazines and stuff back there. So aside from 
And then you got up here, you got and then your headrest. So yeah, just not really too many crazy amenities, but just enough to get you through a nice business class. And then you got your seat adjustments here. Got a nice little divider. It's not too much, like, it's not for a ton of privacy like Air Italy was, but it's a decent amount. about these types of windows is that I don't have to close a window shade I simply just press a button and it dims it but there's two issues with it. it's not complete darkness so it's kind of hard to sleep but the good part for me as a photographer you could take photos out the window and no one gets mad at you because it's as dark as it can get like look that's as dark as it can get just the same color as this monitor okay so let's talk a bit about the pillows and what comes with them um, this business class. A United Polaris business class pillow and it's a it's a it's memory foam. So it's super nice and comfy. And then we have a Saks Fifth Avenue United United uh, blanket that looks really comfy. Oh shit, oops. Then we have a Saks Fifth Avenue pillow, a down comforter pillow that is extremely, extremely comfy. Suck it. Hello, comfy. And then here we have a duvet, which is also from Saks Fifth Avenue. Um, and United, of course. So I'm looking forward to sleeping on all that stuff. Here we have safety card, uh, noise canceling headphones, a power outlet for no, a, a uh, audio out for the headphones, USB uh, C, no USB A outlet, and a USB A out, and then a power a universal power outlet, a warning sign, and then a cup holder, and something else. I don't know, just to sort your items, I guess. It's working. Okay. So that's fantastic. Thank okay. you so much. Food 
presentation, I'd give it a 5 out of 5. Actually, I'll do this out of 10. 10 out of 10. The food itself, we'll see. But, um, pretzel bread, that's a plus one for me.
Thank you so much, everyone. Feels good to be back home in LA. Although I'm so away from my other home, it kind of feels weird. It feels like I'm home, but not home at the same time. I really can't explain it. Thank God I have a global entry, so I should get out of here pretty quickly. It's so weird since I've never felt this before. LAX kind of flipped their system. The bus used to be on this side, but now it's passenger pickup, and now this side where it used to be cars is now buses. What the fuck? I don't like them. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? Big How are you guys? Love you. Oh, where are you? I'm good. Home, home, home away from home. How are you? Home away from Rome home? Home away from Rome home. Yeah, I know, right? Alright, um, yeah. I'll go in the front chair. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Ciao.